Hi, welcome to another video in my series on forming differential equations. And in this particular example, what I've got here is one where we look at inverse proportion. So let's just run through it. We've got a cone is being filled such that the rate of increase of the height at time t is inversely proportional to the square of the height h at time t. And we've got to find h when t equals 8, given that h equals 0 when t equals 0, and h equals 2 when t equals 1. So how do we do something like this? Well, first of all, we're told that the rate of change of the height, that's dh by dt, is inversely proportional to the square of the height h. So we've got our proportion sign, and because it's inversely proportional, it is proportional to 1 then over h squared. And we need to change this to an equation, so we introduce a constant, and I'm going to call that constant k. So it would be equal to k times 1 over h squared, or in other words, k over h squared. Now we solve this differential equation by separating the variables. So if we separate the variables, putting the h's on one side and the t's on the other, we end up with h squared dh equals k dt. And then we have to integrate both sides. So you should get something like this. Now we can integrate both of these sides. If we integrate h squared with respect to h, we're going to get h cubed over 3. And if we integrate k with respect to t, we're going to get kt. And don't forget there'll be a constant off of each of these integrals. But if we take the constant from here over to here, we'll have this constant minus this constant, which will just give us one constant. Now, we've got to work out what these two constants are, k and c. And we can do this with our boundary conditions up here. So if we start with the first one, that is when t equals naught, we can see that h equals 0. Then if we substitute this into this equation here, we're going to have 0 on this side equals k times 0, which is going to be 0, plus c. So we've got that that constant c equals 0. So if we just come down here now, and suppose we call this equation 1, then all we need to do is substitute c equals 0 back into 1, and that will give us an updated equation. So sub in 1, and that gives us now that h cubed over 3 equals kt. So therefore, h cubed over 3 equals kt. Now, we need to work out what the other constant k is. And we can do this from this second condition. We can see that when t equals 1, h equals 2. And we can substitute this into equation 2, say. And if we do that, we therefore have 2 cubed, which is 8. So we've got 8 over 3, 8 thirds, equals k times t. k times 1, which is just going to be k. So we end up with k then equaling 8 thirds. And we can substitute that back into equation 2. And that will give us our equation now, which is going to be h cubed over 3. So we ha therefore have h cubed over 3 equals k, which we've seen is 8 thirds. And that will be multiplied by t. And if we times both sides by 3, we therefore have h cubed equals 8t. So there's our equation now. So we're in a position to find h when t equals 8. So we can just say then that when t equals 8, we'll come down here, 
when t equals 8, we've got that therefore h cubed equals 8 times the 8. 8 eighths a bit 64, so therefore h cubed equals 64. And to get h, we just need to take the cube root of 64, and the cube root of 64 is 4. So therefore, h equals 4. Okay, so I hope it's given you some idea then on how to handle a differential equation then that involves inverse proportion.